Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 3. Last time we made it through quite a bit of the uh, Otherworld Hospital and made a blood sacrifice. I mean, we didn't actually cut anybody open. We just, you know, put some blood in a bag and put it on an altar made out of a hospital stretcher. Yeah. Anyway, today we're going to go down a ladder that spawned because of that weird awkward sacrifice thing and yes once again I'm recording something in the middle of the night midnight to be exact which is the definition of middle of the night whatever let's just go down this ladder if I can't okay there we go yeah, I've been feeling a bit down recently, mostly just school related. I don't know, I'm not going to go too in depth into it. Um, you know, you can sort of listen to my sort of vague summary of events in the recent update and stuff. But yeah, I don't know, it's just I'm, I'm doing this to sort of like relax my mind, like just recording this this late. It'll calm me down and help me like not stress out about this project for my operating systems class. Because I have never felt, like, more stressed and helpless about a class, like, than this operating systems thing. It's just bad. Just for a whole bunch of, like, different things just adding up. But alright, cutscene. Leonard has seen better days. Yes, you come to accept that in Silent Hill, Heather. That was not an appropriate time for a one-liner. Oh, what is with my health? Okay, yeah, that was not the appropriate time for a one-liner, Heather. Okay, so, um, the moment I unpause, I'm going to take damage. This music is rocking, though. So, okay, what would be... Yeah, let's go with the submachine gun. Okay, and yeah, apparently Leonard... I mean, he he's against Claudia, but not for the same reasons we are, essentially. So, yeah, it was just all a big misunderstanding. 
Why did Vincent want us to meet him anyway? I don't know. All right, whatever. I am fully prepared to take damage <gasps> now. Oh my God, I'm living. Are you dead? Should I, should I kick you? Oh no, he's swimming. Where is he? Okay. There you are. Nope. Nope. Okay. If this is what I need to do, this is actually not that hard. Do I shoot him while he's swimming or... Oh, also, I think I'm out of... Oh, no, no, no. I still have a little left. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be shooting him while he's swimming around. There you are. You're, you're still alive, though. Okay, wait a minute. I have to be doing something wrong. How much shotgun ammo do I... Well, it looks like we're going to be using the handgun. Ew, 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 ew. Unless... I could use the taser. That is a thought. Because, I mean, he's in water. That would be a very wise idea, come to think of it. But then wouldn't that affect me, too? In water? Electricity? Tasers? Also, I haven't taken damage yet. Uh, I'm going to try this. It's very short range, so I'm going to have to be careful. Ugh. Ugh, this might not... Oh my god. I, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, for a minute, I thought that might have been... That might be the best strategy, really, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's try the shotgun, then. That did a lot of damage, I, I guess. I don't know. I'm running low on options here. Well, not necessarily. I mean, I have a lot of handgun ammo. But if you would die, that would be, like, really helpful. I have to be doing something wrong. I think. I, I don't know. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, he's dead. Maybe. You can never be too sure with Silent Hill. He looked like a mix between Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy and Clickers from The Last of Us. Also, I guess easy boss fights are going to be a recurring thing in this game. Although he did take up a lot of damage take up a lot of damage. He took a lot of damage. And it was all a dream. Maybe. Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? Let me guess, that's the seal? So it wasn't a dream? 
Holy crap, it was a seal. Okay, talisman. Fine, if you want to be proper about it. Anyway, let me go ahead and use one of these. Okay, random noises in my room that kind of take me by surprise. <laughs> okay, uh... Katana. There we go. I am ready. Also, let me just make sure there's nothing I'm leaving behind here. Looks like Stanley's doll and the the diary are no longer here. So, yeah. One less crazy person I have to worry about. Please don't let there be enemies in here. Cool. Don't know why I'm looking at the map, but nah, might as well. I'm just gonna head straight for the exit. Probably should make a detour to save, though. It might be wise. I think I will do that, actually. Save early. Save often. If I can remember what door it is... Do... Do reception, okay. It's nice to not have to worry about things trying to murder you. And that's always so annoying and inconvenient. Okay. Hmm, yeah, I'll save over this one. Also, about that fight, like, I don't know what contributed most to me beating Leonard, like, I don't know if that was like all submachine gun essentially, or maybe the taser did quite a number on him. I mean, I, it doesn't look like the handgun really did much. I don't know, I don't know. It's interesting. Cause I'm just trying to gauge like how powerful the taser can be. Probably should have used just of God's beloved, no. To mock a God who never received salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasure this world and I want to find my happiness while I'm still here you hated your father didn't you I saw the way he hit you hit you are they trying to go the sympathetic antagonist route now Because, I mean, Claudia killed Harry, so, I mean, at this point, I don't care what her dad did to her, okay? That was freaking Harry Mason. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you. Okay, well, in the words of Spoonie, or the Spoonie one, Noah Antwater, whatever you want to call him, bitches be crazy, and I don't know what the fuck is going on. So, I mean, what, is Vincent a double agent? Playing to both sides, or? I don't know, he probably just has his own agenda. Oh yeah, now that I'm back here, I can actually do a little exploring um, because yeah, as I mentioned way back when I could actually visit Heaven's Night so I guess I'll stop by there before I 
head back to the inn. And I can, I, I assume it's daytime in Silent Hill. Radio's not acting up, so that's good news for me. Oh crap, radio's acting up. Okay, run, 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 run. Not right there. You can't run right there, Heather. Really? Just keep running. Yes, down this alley where nothing bad will happen. Okay. Hopefully there will be nothing in here that wants me dead. Ooh, ooh, first aid kit, beef jerky. I like the strip club already. So is that a staple of strip clubs, first aid kits and beef jerky? Because if so, hey, I might have to start visiting some of these, huh? All right, whatever. It's a tourism pamphlet. I have forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Wow, okay. If this is the same exact brochure from Silent Hill 2, I'm going to be happy. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some of, uh, bleh, take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor. Roger Whitmark. I can't remember if that's the exact same one from uh, Silent Hill 2. Hmm. Paradise. Okay. What is this? Shotgun shells? Oh, you are too kind, strip club. Anything else? Don't leave me hanging. No, I, I already read that pamphlet. Yes, okay. Uh. Okay, Heather can't get on stage. Or can she? No, okay. Well, yeah, let, let, let's go through this door. What's... Okay, that's the worst that can happen. Hope that wasn't a time lock thing. Like, oh, you can go through that door if you go in here before you enter the hospital. It doesn't seem like I can do too much in here. Just those shotgun shells in the first aid kit. Yeah, there had to have been like something before the uh, hospital. I guess. I don't know. Just making sure. Okay, fine. Yeah, no point in wasting time here. Time to go. I wonder if I can go to the Bolorama. I think I'm gonna try. This is rude. That was rude. Wow. Okay. I probably should have got hit there. Uh, yeah, okay. There's the Bolorama. Texan gas. I wonder if I can go there. I believe that's where I missed a weapon I could have picked up in Silent Hill 2. Hmm. Not seeing too much I can interact with. Trying to wait for Heather to stop being tired. No, she's not looking in a specific direction, thus pointing out where something might be. Hmm. Okay, then I guess there's nothing at the gas station here, then. Anyway. Oop, 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 oop. No, just tires. I can't do anything with tires. 
Sorry, I, I, I just can't. Ooh, can I go in here? Okay, apparently that's just for decoration. Do they have a door? So the one door they have, I can't interact with. I, it's, it's essentially here for decoration. Okay. Good to know, I guess? Well, let's try the Bolarama, and then if I can't get in there, we'll just go on with the story. Is this the entrance? Crap. Okay, yeah, so there was probably, like, some time-sensitive stuff I could have seen then, because... I remember hearing that there's like that there was an Easter egg to Silent Hill 2 hidden in there unless it actually was the pamphlet I, I I'm not sure why am I even running down here that was a bad idea serpentine that was close Just keep serpentining. Serpentining. Please stop following me, dangerous monster. Okay, wait, no. All right. So we're just gonna keep running through the fog until we get back to the motel. See you all there, I guess. Okay. We're back. Um. I guess I have to find the right room uh was it on the next floor up I don't remember I can't go up those stairs uh uh oh we may have a problem here oh never mind I found it yay trial and error How did he get in her room? Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left the message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. <laughs> Liar. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church. I wonder what he meant by that. He, he, he probably meant church. Like an actual literal church. That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. On the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Or you could just take a, a boat. Northwest like what James Park. did. No. You don't trust me? No. And of course she's going to trust the crazy guy that may or may not be a double agent, but she doesn't know. So I guess that's dramatic irony. Yeah, yeah, I think that's dramatic irony where the viewer knows something that the um the blue uh characters might not but okay, we're going to the amusement park. And, you know, Heather feels that's a good idea, despite the fact that, you know, she had kind of a horrific dream about an amusement park in the very first portion of the game. But we're just going to forget all about that. 